Hello everyone and welcome to the Big Bang. Body plots can be a bit tricky to draw when circuits don't look the simplest. In this video, I will help you tackle a circuit that may fall under that category. In the circuit drawn, we have a current source at the input and a voltmeter at the output. In this case, we can devise a transfer function that consists of the output voltage over the input current as functions of j omega. Before doing that, let's briefly remind ourselves of the ideal impedances for those two components. The current source will have an infinitely large impedance, resulting in an open circuit, while the voltmeter will have an infinitely large impedance, also resulting in an open circuit. This will allow us to simplify the input and output impedance circuits. So if we're trying to find Z in and we're trying to find Z out, you can notice that they will be actually identical. We will have the resistor in parallel with the capacitor. So the second we decide to solve for the expression, we will get R times 1 over J omega C over R plus 1 over J omega C. Simplifying that will give us R over CR j omega plus 1. So this will be both your z in and your z out. So this is a really cool feature about this circuit, but there is also something really cool to point out. Another interesting caveat that you can notice from the circuit is that both the input and the output voltages are equal. They are both measured voltages over the same two nodes. So we can go ahead and say v out equals V in. And since we want to find V out over V in, this information will help us greatly. This means that we can write V in equals I in times Z in. And then we can go ahead and rewrite the V in as a V out equals the I in times the Z in. So notice how you can rearrange this expression to get us the expression for the transfer function. We would have V out over I in both J omega equals to the Z in. Now you can remember that Z in equaled the Z out. And those will now be the transfer function. So our transfer function will then be well, we the expression we found up here, which was R over CR J omega plus 1. So that's great because it means that we found our transfer function. And we would be now ready to get our Bode plots. But before we do that, we need to figure out the poles and the zeros from this transfer function. Notice that there will not be any zeros because we don't have a j omega in the numerator. But we can set the denominator equal to zero and get a pole. So let's go ahead and do that. So there will be no zeros, but we can set CR j omega plus one equal to zero and get a pole. Now you can recall that there are two plots whenever we're asked to draw a Bode plot. There will be a magnitude over frequency and a phase angle over frequency plot. From the transfer function, we've already found what the zeros and the poles are. So we can go ahead and draw those plots now. So we will have a magnitude over frequency and a phase angle over frequency. Now let's draw on the plots the cutoff frequency, which we found to be 1 over CR. And now we're ready to start plotting. But let's remind ourselves of one thing that you may remember from a previous video. When we have a pole, we will get in the magnitude frequency plot a drop in the slope of negative 20 decibel per decade 
at the cutoff frequency of 1 over CR. And then in the phase frequency plot, we will get a drop of 90 degrees at the cutoff frequency of 1 over CR. So we can go ahead and start drawing our plots. We will have in the magnitude frequency plot us starting at a zero slope. And then once we hit the cutoff frequency, we will have that drop in the slope. Then in the phase angle frequency plot, we will start at zero and then we will drop 90 degrees once we hit the cutoff frequency. So let's call this zero, let's call this negative 90 degrees. And there is this drop right here. Now, remember that these plots are not this sharp. They're, they're gonna be way smoother than this. And I'm gonna go ahead and highlight here in red what they may look like if you were to plot them on let's say MATLAB. And notice that this change right here will happen at negative 45 degrees. So since we only had one pole, this is basically what our plot is gonna look like. And something really cool that you may notice from this is that we are letting the low frequency, low frequencies pass. Whereas after the cutoff frequency, we start attenuating. So different from the previous video, this plot right here will be the plot of a low pass filter. Since we are allowing the low frequencies to pass quite literally, and we are attenuated, attenuating the higher frequencies. So, all right, I will see you guys next time.